Hello. If you're watching this, this means I'm absent from school today. I'm sorry, children. I'll be with you soon. Behave. Well, we're making face cups. We're making cups. Here's one of my cups so far. It's a lot more flopsy. Oh, so I'm just going to angle this camera down here. I just didn't want to leave you guys without you not knowing what to do, you know? So I'm wearing my apron so I can stay clean. Um, this one right here, I have a little face added to it already. I got some eyebrows on there and nose and some lips. But this is getting kind of leather hard. I can't really squeeze it much anymore. So if I'm using this, I got to score and slip everything. This one's extra flop, so you can see I can squeeze it still. This one I can't really squeeze anymore. Okay, so I was working on last class smoothing these out with you. These are two separate walls. Um, the bottom is nice and smoothed out. The edge is nice and rounded. The lip at the top of the cup, this is where we'll be drinking out, is also nice and round. Um, and I used a sponge for that. Just a basic sponge, those are gonna fall just to make sure that the edges and everything else was smooth. Now this was damp. This isn't soaking wet. If you make this really wet, then your project is never going to dry. And as you add stuff to it, it's going to be really flimsy and flopsy. I went through the inside of this cup like this with the mug, just making sure that my walls were nice and pushed out. I'm slightly putting pressure on it like this because your walls can sink over time, especially um, if it was really wet when you put it in the bag last class. So the inside is smooth. I gotta make sure that my name is on the bottom of this. That's something you guys really suck at doing, so get better at writing your name on things, please. Please. All right. I'm just writing it around here. Bill M4. Miss you guys. Okay. I need to pick a side to be my front side. Doesn't really matter. This middle line here is going to be like where the bottom of my nose is, where my lines, my um, two slabs connected. Um, I need to get out some wedged clay. This clay doesn't have to be perfectly new. Just a little bit. I wedged it before I came in here, cutting it out with my felting knife, just a little bit. There's like no air pockets in that one. It's pretty good. I'm going to be making several like balls of clay rather. Just going like this, squishing them out, squishing it together, rounding it out. I'm going to have my slip here. If it's cracking, you can add some slip to that. Pushing it with my thumbs like that makes a nice sphere. I'll probably be turning these more into ovals and stuff later, but I'm going to make one for my nose and for my lips. And then I'm going to make two smaller ones for my eyebrows. What else is on your thing? And the eyes, we're just going to kind of carve in there later. So I'm going to cut this one in half. The size doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be precise. You are going to be making unique faces. You're not going to be perfect. Oh look, I have a chair. You can kind of see me better. Hi. Okay, I'm just so weird. Sorry. Not. Okay. There's one. I want these to be about the same size because they got to be even. So no point in making them the wrong size. These are going to go up here. One's going to be my nose, and the other's going to be the mouth. But we can't just let our eyeballs stay on like that, guys. That looks dumb. It just kind of does. So I need to mark out. I didn't bring a pen tool in here. I'm in my classroom. I'm going to mark out where I want my eyes and nose and mouth to be by making, let's see, just a really light line there. You can kind of see it. This is where... I'm going to make my nose a little bit lower before I was saying at that halfway mark, but I think it should be lower so I can fit my eyes in. My mouth is going to be here on this line. Then I'm going to make a line where my eyes are going to be. This does not have to be realistic. We're just making this because it's kind of cool. 
So I have some lines on this guy of where my objects are going to be at. I not even have to draw this out right now. I'm going to push down where I want the eyes to be. I'm just squeezing it a little bit, giving it a small indentation. We'll make it look more realistic later. Doing this so you guys can see it in the camera, but it's actually really hard for me to draw this way. I'm looking at my computer. I'm going to do that under the nose a little bit, just make a small indentation. And then under the lip, that will make part for like this chin, where the scoop is at, and like where your eyes are at. That's what those indentations are for. These can be abstract, but I don't want it to be like elementary. You know what I mean? Let's see. I'm going to start with, I guess, the eyebrows. I'm going to roll this ball into like a small coil. And then I'm going to pinch the edges together like that. We'll make a nice little eyebrow. Probably going to be removing a lot of this later. It's because it's a lot. This is also going to more like make the eyelid, really not the eyebrow. That was silly of me to say such. On this guy here, I just have like an eyelid. It's not quite an eyebrow. It's also very big. Oops. Put it there. Right there. I'm gonna look at it. How can I? Kind of works. Okay. So that's where they're gonna be. need to score and slip these on obviously right I like to use a scoring rib goes right above the eye my slip is kind of too thick Remember, you got to score and slip pretty hard on here. These are really deep. You can see them. Pressing it on. If your clay is too flimsy, this will really ruin your project. It'll make everything sink in. So you have to be very careful. It's a fine line between what's too dry and then what's too moist. So I'm just pressing it on with my thumb for now. terrible at this mirror image thing. Got to press down here too. I'm going to go back to this. This is easy. So I'm pushing it at the top part and the bottom. Gotta make sure they're even. That one's a little low. So I'm pushing it up. Oh, wow, he's so pretty. So attractive. Okay. Just roughing this stuff out, guys. It's not perfect right now. You can go back and smooth it out later. Or now. Use like a rubber rib. Bring the clay downwards. I'll make it look more like an eyelid. Making like a crease in it. So it's sealed, but now it has like this cool extra something something to it. to get this stuff sealed before I move on to the next thing. Ooh, that one's a lot lower because I don't want to mess it up. I guess since this one's up higher, I could make it look like he's doing this face. Mm. 
Let's push it. I got this. Never want to mess up and make it too dry before you can make any alterations. So I'm starting to remove some of that clay because I did make it really thick. I told you that I was going to make it super thick first. Better to have too much clay than not enough. I'm using this little ribbon tool to sculpt it out. I'll get more into the fine details for our next video. You guys probably won't be there yet though. Just removing some extras there, like I said before, on the other side. Gotta make sure you don't poke through, because otherwise it won't be a good cup. But if you do poke through, we'll turn it into a pencil holder. I guess. Or a plant holder, that's fine doesn't really have to be a cup. They just look really cool as mugs. And if you want to change yours into something different, like a plant holder, I know somebody was doing, I think it was David or Joe. It was Joe. Hi, Joe. I hope you watch this. <laughs> okay. Now, if you want to make it look realistic, you would have put like a little ball for the eye, underneath the eyelids to make it look like it was hiding those eyelids. But I'm making my abstract. Mostly because I don't got the time for that realistic stuff. Some of you guys do. Alright, I'm making the nose now. I'm gonna pinch it out more towards the top. Making it get thicker at the bottom, like a nose. Again, I can cut a lot of this extra stuff off. I realize now it's really big. It's okay. I'm working really fast. How long is this video? Jeez, I gotta go home soon. I have to sculpt out the nose a little bit before I put it on. Because it's harder, again, to press down on stuff. But I like to leave extra clay so I can press it into the mug and have plenty of room for it. Before I do anything, no, oh well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to mark down where I want my nostrils to be. This will be cute. using a ribbon tool to just mark out where the nostrils are going to be. I'll get at that more later. It's looking silly. I'm having a good time. It comes out really far. All right, score and slip it. I'm holding it this way so that you guys can see it. I don't recommend holding it this way. It's kind of challenging. Scoring is not supposed to be just like petting your clay. It should be really um, deep lines. The slip should be on there nicely. If you guys are using baby powder like we did last time, please don't use that much. It's really just supposed to go on your table. A lot of people were drying out their clay. I'm going to make it come up a little bit into that eyebrow area. I'm applying pressure on the back side of the mug and pressing on it, that way I'm not sinking in my cup. Like I keep on warning you guys about the shape. If it does, it's okay. We can turn it into something different. Turn it into a plant holder or something. Ooh, a toothbrush holder. That'd be cool. Okay, that nose looks good. I mean, it looks good from my angle. Look at that schnoz. There we go. I like to use this little wooden molding tool because it has a curve on it. You can see it from the side. That way you can press in at it and I seal in my edges 
A lot of you guys score and slip, but then you don't even try to seal. You're like, I don't care. You should. Otherwise, it'll fall out. A lot of people's in this class, M4. You guys, a lot of your projects blew up. They did. They didn't make it because you didn't score and slip everything right, or you let it get too dry before you moved on to the next part. Oh, you couldn't attach stuff. So you gotta make sure your clay isn't too dry before you move on. Otherwise, guys, it's gonna suck. It's gonna blow up. He's attached. Yes. And I got to seal the bottom even. Right in there. It has a nice gap. We don't want that. Looks like Easter Island. We could make Easter Island heads. We could. If you think he needs a nose job because it's too... Oh, I like how big his nose is. I assumed it's gender. It's clay. It doesn't have any. Gotta make sure all my edges are smooth. Cause if this does become a cup, I don't want anyone's hands to get cut as they're drinking. I always smooth it out once it's a little leather hard too. It'll be easier, cause then you won't move it around too much. He's so cute. Okay, I gotta make lips. I'm gonna cut this circle in half. Yeah, why not? I want this one side to be flat. I don't really have lips. I mean, they're there, but my upper lip is really small, kind of useless. Um, anyways, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Stretching these out. I realized that I really didn't need that much clay. So I'm turning this into more like a, um, an oval shape pointing the edges, just kind of leaving them closed. Um, I'm going to draw like a line in between them, in the middle of it. And then I'm doing, I'm beveling it, I'm like rounding the edge. In here I'm doing a carving technique. So I figured it'd be easier to carve this now and then put it on to make it look like lips to make it rounded out more. But I can always add on more clay as well. I can make him smile by turning it up or I could make him frown. Sad. Okay. You can give him a mustache or a handlebar like mustache or I don't know, a lip ring later. Oh my gosh, I gotta score and slip that. It's coming along. Make it a little bit lower, right there. <laughs> score, 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 score. Okay, nice it. It's creepy. You can make this creepy if you want. I don't got a problem with that. time we'll talk about putting on a handle. My upper lip is the thinner one, so I'm putting the thinner one up top. It's me as a cup. Okay. Oh, okay, sealing this down. Just with my thumb, you can use the wooden molding tool. You could give it Lady Gaga type of lips, like really big, pouty. You can make the mouth open. Could add teeth on it. You'll have to look up what that looks like. I'm sure you could easily Google ceramic clay mouth. How to sculpt it. <laughs> My lips are all going to like one side. 
more fun sculpting that out later. Just wanted to show you guys the basics of putting that stuff on there. How to seal them and make the shapes. Then once this stuff's all smoothed out, <laughs> that lip is terrible. Uh, once this lip's all smoothed out, I will fix them up more with this sculpting. Cutting a little bit off. I feel like a plastic surgeon. careful not to cut through my cup. Putting it on my lap. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Alright, and then before you guys are done, you better seal these up, spray some water on them, wrap them up with plastic, paper bag, plastic bag, paper bag, what is this, Kroger, um, let's see what else, make sure your name is on the bag, I don't want to lose it, I'm block four. Okay, he's not so bad, I'll add more details later, this is probably as far as you guys are going to get, I really rushed this, don't rush it. And I gotta clean up my mess. You better clean up your messes.